every alley you go in, you just have to stop because everything looks so Greek, so Mediterranean. This week, we explore the beautiful island of Syros, one of the Cycladic islands of Greece. It nearly has not as many tourists <laughs> as Santorini or Mykonos, which is the best thing about Syros. We're Dania Nikki, and after living in Hawaii, we are now traveling the world again. Subscribe to our channel so you can follow our journey around the world, with these next few episodes being all about Greece. We got in last night. We took a ferry over to the island. It was three and a half hours. It was supposed to be the slow ferry. I was trying to take that so I didn't get sick, but I got sick anyway. But we finally made it to land, and now it's time to explore this Cycladic island. And the biggest difference from Athens that I can see is it's totally peaceful here. Yes. I don't see anyone on the streets. There's not a lot of cars. I think moped is the, uh, the transportation of choice. Syros is an island in the Cyclades, which are usually known for their white and blue colors, like the Greek flag. But Syros is actually quite different, with lots of light yellows, pinks, and blues. We're now in the town of Ermupoli. This is the capital of Syros, capital of the Cyclades. It was a major industrial hub within the 19th century for all of Athens. And we're gonna explore this area, and I'm going to get some Greek coffee. So the Greek coffee, they put the water in it and they put the actual coffee grinds within the cup. And then once it starts to boil, they pull it off and that's your coffee. Let's go ahead and try it. So when you drink it, those grinds are kind of in the coffee, but it makes you feel like you're drinking something that's extremely potent. Because Syros has a large Greek Orthodox community, they have lots of beautiful churches, and we're gonna explore one of them that is right up there. There, that right one. there. That oh. One. That one. oh, that one, okay. <laughs> it always takes us double the time to get to a place because of all of the times we have to stop to get pretty pictures. Close, close your mouth. <laughs> Every alley you go in, you just have to stop because everything looks so Greek, so Mediterranean. Just like here, this hanging grapevine. How cool. And then the church behind you. Wow. Seals is super pretty. We're never going to make it to the church. <laughs> The town we're going to means upper seals, and that's why we have to walk all these stairs. Stair climber workout. Because Nikki just can't stop taking pictures, so I'll take this time to plug her Instagram. If you if you haven't uh, checked that out yet, Nikki's been posting on there daily. So I do notice when you type in like the Greek islands or you talk to anyone, they've all been to Santorini or Mykonos. Uh, but there's a lot of islands out here in the Asian Sea, and Syros is one of them. Of course, there is so much tourism on Mykonos and Santorini, which is exactly why we did not choose those two islands. We chose the less visited island. So far, we have all these streets to ourselves. We don't want to see a bunch of, bunch of people while we're out on the island. lookout point and see what we can see. Wow. All right, so I'm seeing some islands. I'm gonna take a guess. I think the one right to my right is gonna be Mykonos. And I think the one on the left, which is like over here, that's gonna be Tinos. So this church was all about the views. You can see the other islands. And now I kind of have a good idea of what the city looks like. But before we continue Seals, we were hungry. Now we found this cute little spot here in the street. We just saw a couple of tables outside on the stoop, and here we are. So I have chicken heels, Denny has pork, and it looks amazing. It's loaded with chicken, fries, tomato, onion, and a sauce, which I think is tzatziki. Mmm. It's not tzatziki. 
I don't know what the sauce is, but it's delicious. Especially when you get everything together, the chicken, the onion, the sauce, the tomato, and the fries. So what I love so, so much about this is the price. It's such great food for cheap. It's two, two fifty. I enjoy that fully. That's what I also like about our stay here in Seahawks is that you just walk around, you sit down, and you don't really know what to expect, and you have such a delicious, cheap meal. And that experience can be found anywhere on Syros. The island has 29 picturesque villages, of which some date back until the 13th century. But we're not going to walk uphill again. Today, we're gonna to explore Syros in a better and faster way. Today we're exploring the village of Anosiros, the medieval town that had just has these narrow streets. There's no way you could drop a car here. You have to park outside and it looks like a little thriving city here. The city is built in a way to protect the residents from attacks. The entrances to the city close and the narrow streets give the residents the advantage of hiding from pirate attacks. It's a town made on a hill, very, very old, and very nice to just walk through. They have all these nice houses and streets, and there's shops. So far, it's really cool. But it's so peaceful. If we look around, there's no one out. There's, no one. And so we're here with these white houses. It's kind of a sleepy, coastal, medieval town. But now we don't know where to go. So should we go toward the tower? Through there. So you soon notice that Seals is not that party island, that Instagram-worthy Mykonos Santorini. It has so much history, it's colorful, amazing food. Kind of get lost in these streets. I think what I love about Greece, the whole of Greece, is that you see grapevines everywhere you go. Here you see them on this house. Really cool. What I love about Greece is the food culture. Fresh tomatoes, olives, all kinds of meats. And we're gonna bring a food tour to you in a couple days to show you kind of what we've been eating and it's delicious. There's more grapes over here. <laughs> So we've made it to the center of this medieval village and it's completely deserted. No one's here, and nothing seems to be open. Okay. So apparently everything opens at night, okay. at night animals. We're not really night animals, so we're more day creatures. <laughs> <laughs> and after making it to the church at the very top of the town, we headed back to the capital of Syros, Ermupoli. So now we're back in Armupoli, the capital of Syros, to get some gelato from a local gelato maker that makes it with milk from the island. So there's so many streets here in the uh, city where you can find just these like quaint restaurants. Yes. Places to go eat. Oh, I don't know which one's yours. Yeah. Oh, mine is the... That's the that's the yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the guy in the gelato store makes his ice cream every day fresh with local ingredients, and because it's fresh, it does not freeze, so we had to eat it really fast. But they have interesting flavors such as Persian cream with pistachios in there and fig jelly. It's just so interesting to try these local delicacies. The first couple of days here on Silos were amazing. The island is beautifully pastel colored, beautiful churches you've never seen before with that blue dome. And there's so many nice places to sit, just like here with the water right next to you. The people also immensely friendly. You feel so welcome here in Silos. But there's more to this island than just the city. And we're going to go check that out on the next vlog. See you then. We're in the town of Ermupoli. Uh, so there's like, a, there's like a question. We're in the town of Ermupoli. Er 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 hey, so we're starting our day off here in Ermupoli. Er 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 <laughs> we're here in 
or Merpoli, or Merpoli, or Moopoli. All right, we're here in the town. <laughs> Our Moopoli has it all. What does it have? What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's take a piss. Oh. Oh, shit. oh my gosh. That's I... what they do in a litter box. Oh my gosh. I did not do. No, they do that. Did you get that on camera? Yes. Oh my god. I'm really petting. You're petting it while it's taking a dump. <laughs> I think it's a donkey. No, it's a horse. <laughs> no, I think it's a donkey. It's a donkey, yeah. Yeah, it's a donkey. Can I pet it? I don't know. It doesn't look very friendly. It seems like it's getting a little agitated with you.